Bohemia, England. Bohemia and Eng wait, just Bohemia. The result was Wait, no. Okay, hold on. Where's the history button? I haven't used this thing in a long time. Okay, most recent. Okay, so Cleves did own it. Cleves owned Cleves. Or Cleves. Both, Munst, both uh, Cologne and Netherlands declared war to take it. Uh, Cleves called in Bohemia in their defense against Cologne. Oh, this doesn't make sense. There have been no battles. I have no freaking clue what just happened. <laughs> Some weird shenanigans went on, and the war leader went away, and made Bohemia the war leader. And now I can get called into their war as a defense. I don't know, I don't quite understand the process that just occurred to let Bohemia call me into a defensive war that they did not start, that we're not part of immediately. I guess this five stack. Let's put it over here. Oh, I never did give so didn't he have Piedmont more land? That's a shame. Burgundy's back. England annexation has slowed down a lot because I just got some overextension. This will improve my trade. Okay. Does that give me the mission? Nope, somehow trade went down. Okay, sure. I don't care about unrest. It's not like I need manpower. Let me balance out these stacks. Augsburg, disputed succession. Nowhere. Improve relations. Everybody hates me, so it's hard to get a PU. Because nobody will marry me. Just like real life. Okay, so. 
Let's see. All this not raising autonomy too is making it so I have a lot more wealth right off the bat. I haven't raised autonomy in quite some time in this campaign. England! Have you claimed Inca? If you claimed Inca, I'll go to war with Inca. You just say the word, buddy. You unambitious son of a... I really wish you could direct your vassals to make claims. That would be so cool. The video is too blurry for you. Which weir year am I in? 1640, 1st of November. I am a pathetic third in the world. Who's above me? Probably the Ottomans and Ming. Yep. As expected, although I'm gaining more points than either of them, because I am first in every category, which is really rare. I almost never see that. Actually, I'm not too far behind them. Uh, to be a Western power at the beginning of the game. It's a rare treat. For me. Well, this Holy War thing works regardless of uh, whether you're actually at war. I don't know what I was thinking that was contrary to that. <laughs> Lose 12,000 manpower out of my 6,000. Okay. Sure. I find your terms acceptable. Sixteen forty one, actually. I'm more blurry today. What gives? Did you change video settings or is Twitch just screwed up again? I didn't change anything. Let me take a look. It does look more blurry, doesn't it? Also, why the okay, my aspect ratio, it's almost funny about that. Like if I full screen it, it's terrible. Is that normal? Is it always like that? Uh, is there always like a big black letterboxing around my, uh, like I, I just full screened to see what it, what it looked like? And I can actually read everything on mine, but it's, uh, there's a large amount of like black space if I full screen. Don't recall it normally. Uh, OBS could have changed something, but it might be. I'll look at it before I play for any notable session again. Suddenly, lots of people without airs. Like this native. This native is not interested in a long distance relationship. 
Come on, let's get a memorial marriage with Augsburg. Augsburg, Augsburg. Who is Augsburg anyway? Oh, this little nobody. I would actually love to royal marry them. So I can eat land over here. Because, you know, I need that for any reason. Neutral attitude. Won't ally me. Neutral attitude. Ah, you got a regency anyway. You're no longer worth my time. Get out of my face. Let's go back to fabricating in Russia. Alright, the uh, war ended, and it looks like the Ottomans took land off of Commonwealth. Not much, but they did. My trade power in the Baltic now is far better. Which is good, because I think, yeah, Commonwealth is the only other power there, and they were collecting. So it sucks to be you, Commonwealth. Go back to Krakow. Russian separatists are about to go off. Let's put a guy there and put a guy here. And I'll give this one a general, because I might as well reduce the number of casualties as much as I can. And you do that by winning the battle as fast as possible and having high discipline. And uh, I can only really influence one of those at the moment. And this is why, this event is exactly why I sent this army all the way over here. This is the third time it's come up. Friesland revolts. I have the choice to get 16 separatists or give it to, give it to Netherlands. Now granted, they do have some separatism because this keeps happening. So hopefully, if the separatism goes away, this will stop. The separatism will go away if I keep killing these separatists. I'm just glad it didn't happen in a, during a war this time, like it has been. There we go. Just clean this right up, no problem. Who's next? Pomeranians? Nah, no problem. I think I'm converting them anyway. No! No, not the Azores! Uh, okay, Warmia and there was Azores. So Warmia is like right here. And the Azores... I lost a lot of... I lost six ships in that war. Plus all those trade ships. The Azores will pick up my Friesland... Fr the friends of Friesland and... sail out there to fight them. Normally, I would be regretting my acquisition of the Azores right now because it's a little island in the middle of nowhere, but it did allow me to get two colonial nations without having to take any colonial ideas. Which one's the Azores? This one? I love my colonial nations.
I really do want that to grip. Keep it on. Catholicism is actually quite good in this game. I love the, uh, the whole poor, the, the people, the people influence edition. Alright, they took Azores. Oh, I landed. I landed in time, they never took it. Great. Everything is perfect forever. Two colonies at once. Oh, you're getting ambitious. Wait, that's not a colony? It's just a finished colony. Watch England will have made it like a claim on Inca right now. At the very end. Well, my colony finished at some point. Yeah. A lot of people are rebellious right now, but that'll probably go away soon. Denmark is a very stable country. Amazing tolerance of the true faith. Plus a minus one just for being Denmark. Also, they have really good legitimacy and stability most of the time, too. Alright, so. Getting myself to maximum traditions. Army tradition is falling a bit, so I am going to have to figure out how to raise that faster. Naval tradition, I just need more trade ships. Which I can afford. Those are heavies. Let's have all of those. In fact, let's get rid of that. Okay, and then I can get plus one more for here if I just take the idea. Uh, yearly naval tradition decay minus one percent. It's not like I need dip a whole lot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that now because I'm mostly rely rely relying on passive things to raise this. So the faster I get that going, the faster it's going to improve. Military tradition is trickier. Let's see. Aristocratic defensive quality and funding forts. Quality defensive aristocratic. So I've got all that. So what I'm going to need is more forts. More funded forts, and I'm gonna have to have some wars that really raise this number up. There was also an idea that helped it along. So 
military tradition, ideas, expansion plus quality. It only gives plus 0.5, but it's something. So I guess my next idea group, idea group will be expansion, just for that. That's certainly not a bad idea group either. But yeah, it's all about the increase in tradition. And then I'll never have to worry about that again. This is actually kind of a good lesson in keeping that up as well. Paying attention to tradition bonuses, because tradition is actually quite good for acquiring generals, and it gives pretty good bonuses. I'm getting 17.3 bonus morale for having 70 tradition. That's really good. That's better than the bonus you get from defensive ideas. Not to mention manpower recovery and siege ability, which is kind of small, but I don't actually know how, three, how effective 3.4% is. But siege ability is nothing to laugh at if you want to move quick. Naval tradition. 76.8% more trade steering. That's surprisingly good as well. Blockade efficiency, so you need less boats to blockade. Just good stuff. So I'm kind of thinking I should start building forts. Um... I don't know if they need to be good forts. Active forts give a maximum of plus one army tradition per year. Uh, gotta refresh this. Maximum gain occurs when you have one actively maintained current tech currently current technology fort. Per 50 development across your nation. Okay, so. My development is 1,445. So 1,445 divided by 50. So I need 29 forts. 20, 29 full, like, updated forts. I have 28. So theoretically, by updating my forts, I won't have to pay anymore, and I'll be able to get this done by adding, like, a fort. So I'm just going to take all the existing forts and upgrade them. This also explains why my naval tradition tends to really go down the toilet. Okay, I'm out of money. And that being because I don't update my forts, typically. So that answers something from the uh, the Mongolian campaign. Why the hell is my army so, army tradition so terrible all the time? Up until I'm able to fight 24-7. Ah, Bohemia loves me now. 
probably pretty happy that I took stuff out of their- oh, I added their alliance. I expected them to still have a bonus because I took stuff from their rival, but Commonwealth isn't their rival. It's kind of funny because Bohemia was the big bad guy when they inherited all this- all the Burgundian land. And then they hated me because they were the Emperor and I kept taking things out of the Empire. Speaking of... The Empire means nothing to me. Not that they could do anything, because I get, took away the CB by revoking their only Imperial uh, Edict. England is gone. And suddenly I have work to do on my uh, conversions. All right. And I got another fort, which is not updated. Let's get right on that. Update, 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 update. So now I've got all those English provinces. Intolerance. Well, I'll probably just raise autonomy if uh, that it gets to be an issue. Actually, no. Oh, that's fine. South Georgia. I'll convert the islands first. That should get rid of all the, the problems. This island's even out of my quarrying range, which is why I vassalized them in the first place. Hey, another fort! Also outdated. You know, the outdated ones I don't need to pay for. So if I'm not upgrading it, I am not paying for it. They're not doing me any good until they are paid for. Yeah, cool. I should also pay attention to what tech gives me better forts to, and just not take it. Tech 20, military 24. That's a ways off. Hopefully I'll be done before then. Convert the islands. Convert the far lands. And probably raise autonomy over here. To deal with this rebellion chance. Or I could just invade the Inca. Could just invade the Inca. Yeah. Where's my fleet? Where's my train? Oh, we're halfway there. Yeah, 
Okay, no way we'll land in Panama. Since uh, Klepto Columbia has kindly given me a walking path. And has incidentally just gained several uh, English provinces. Separatists in Danzig. Did the Iroquois really fend off the French? Uh, okay, that must have been something else. But they did fend off the French. They were at war with them before. And they look pretty intact to me. Okay. Incan forts not paying for these. Oh, they are paying for that one. But I can try to blitz this if I time it correctly. Gotta look out for those Protestant zealots. Oh, my general died. No! Get Shooty McGee down here. What else do we got? got this land, we have Rwanda. Yeah, the one has got priority. I don't want to sail all the way out here to fix something. The Falklands and South Georgia should be good forever. Inca! I still need a CV. What am I doing? Let's fabricate. Kajamaka. I don't mind paying the extra diplo. Fully maintained forts bonus is quickly rising. It seems. Could just be me though. Thought it was point one five and now it's point two. Oh, my precious Russian claims. I don't really care about them. It's a matter of pride at this point. Gotta watch those Protestants.
just defender of the faith give me again? Prestige, people influence, war exhaustion down, morale up. None of these are tradition. They're not tradition at all. Max on admin. That's a shame. So I've just got this convenient plus three admin guy. What do you do with all that extra admin? When the Pope is getting rid of your usury debt. Usury, uh... Your usury. <laughs> I guess you make more money with them, so you can spend it on things like... I don't know... Forts? Let's get this on. Now I could have timed that a lot better, like at the beginning of the last month, because now he's going to be paying this fort, if he wasn't before. Ooh, quality wool. You know what that pays for. Quality fort. Whose forts aren't updated. Being good. Alright, I have all this Diplo power and I'm ahead of time, so what better way to waste it than to get rid of some English? From Northumberland to Norfolk. Because in my nation, the only law is the Dane law. Okay, the Protestants aren't advancing too quickly, luckily. Certainly don't want to want to have to be forced to actually react to them. I mean, if you acknowledge their existence, you give them credit, right? And call allies into this war. Who would join me in this garbage? Spain. Of course they would. Oh, hello. Well, Klepto Colombia will kill you. All out of conversion fuel. Unless he's busy building a fort.
tensions along the Normandy border. Those French always have been a problem. Maybe I'll have some wars against them to really uh, improve my... Oh, they're still allied with the French. Or the Spanish. I have a feeling our mutual alliances are the only thing that are keeping us from being... from uh, ripping each other little shreds. That's a lot of guys that are suddenly up there. That's a lot of guys that are suddenly dead. No, they lived. That's terribly disappointing. Let's see what I can do about this whole them having any land at all thing. It's a shame that Spanish Peru is getting some land over there, but. Brazil was integrated into Spanish Brazil and has been made entirely Castilian. R.I.P. Brazil. Your English legacy is no more. Those Friesland guys again. You seem to come on short intervals. Also, there's going to be some revolts in this area, so I really should have these forts up and running. and ransom of the Sapa Inca. In a bold raid, a small group of conquistadors have managed to lure and capture the leader of the Incas. Oh, I remember having this in Spanish. Fearful of having... Fearful of have, having being burnt and thus never mummified, the Sapa Inca offered to pay a huge ransom to his captors, something the conquistadors immediately agreed to. Though the ransom was paid, we still need to decide what to do with the Inca. To kill a king is surely a horrible crime, even on the other side of the world. But our informants seem sure that the death of the Inca would strike a deadly blow to his empire. Oh, wait a minute. By executing him, I get a claim on all his shit. If I don't execute him, I get a claim on all his shit. Wait, what's the difference here? Either way, they lose stability. If he's a hostage, they lose some uh, monarch points and money. If I execute him, I lose five legitimacy, and I gain some fort building revenue. And they have some nationalist revolts. Oh, I get the money anyway. So it's whether I lose legitimacy and gain nationalist revolts in the area that I'm about to take, or I don't lose legitimacy, they lose points, and they get a succession struggle.
I'll just keep it as a hostage and keep the, the succession succession struggle going. I don't want to lose. I don't want to have all these revolts I have to babysit my new colonial nation for. Whoop. Succession crisis has now become my job. Job completed. Well done, me. Pat on the back all around. Myself get capped again. Not a lot of caring going on about that over here, but you know. And Friesland rebels are taken care of. They're not going to move off of there. There's no one left for them to move for. Oh, the Spanish pieced out. The Portuguese are unlikely to because they don't have a lot. Ooh. Let's get Siege back. No, no, stop them, you fool! We could have had it all. Actually, we pretty much can't have it all. I have 99% because their other fort is gone. So, I want everything I can inside... The Colombia... The, the Peruvian colonial region. Actually, I can take the Colombian too, that's fine. Can I just take, like, all of their everything? 36% overextension. It will create a new colonial um, subject, but... They'll have my tech. So if I can handle the overextension, they can handle the overextension. I can't do that. So what if I did... What's the closest I can get to 100% without um, leaving an opening for Spain or Portugal to take more? It's rather nonsensical greed, but that's how I roll. My, uh, my intense colonial ambitions in a game that had no colonial ambitions whatsoever. Where I cannot even support a colonist. The beautiful thing is I have claims on all of this now because I captured the Incan King. 
I wonder if that triggered because I took his capital. I didn't pay attention to it at the time. Alright, so 71. I need to get to... As close to 100 as I can. That's acceptable to me. Bam. And these claims will last a while, so I can come back later. Okay. Um, for those of you still here, and there are a surprising amount, I need a name for Peru. So I have, a, I have a naming theme here. I haven't colonized anything myself, so I have the Stolen Isles and klepto Columbia. What can I name Peru along the same theme? I require your assistance. Hey, Ceylon's back. Look at that. How'd they break free? Oh, Vijayagar's had some issues apparently. Purloined Peru. Grugal, you are amazing at this. Purloined Peru it is. Quality ivory? Am I trading in ivory? Why the hell... Why would I be trading in ivory? That doesn't make sense. Quality ivory. I just get quality ivory. What triggers that event? I'm really curious now. More than one province is producing ivory. Oh. Okay then, so do both of my African provinces produce it? There's one. <laughs> Where else am I getting ivory? Hold on, this doesn't make sense. Um... I need the map mode for trade goods. I want ivory. I can't get it over here. I can't get it up here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's wrong, then, because I have one province that produces ivory. So yeah. Oh, I still need- I do need to core things down here, that's right. I only have, uh, four cores. I need one more. So what's the cheapest I could core? Quero. Well, I can't get to Quero. So it's... Piscopampa. I suppose I may as well do my future vassal the favor of converting it. Intercontinental trade. Sounds good to me. Proctor Columbia was not happy about that. Got a lot of uh, events lately.
Uh, tech up. Next idea group comes at 22. So we have two more. I'm going to do a whole lot more expanding after this. Purloined Peru. So good. Now this is a point where the campaign is pretty much won and I'm just waiting to get my uh, achievements out of it. I might have to declare a war in order to finish off my army tradition. Maybe two. I might go on a rampage just for the sole purpose of uh, doing so, but, you know, I don't have another fort down here or something, do I? I think that's the last of my forts to upgrade. So I may as well pay for the lot of them. And now my army tradition is passively rising. So fully maintained forts, I have 0.8. This, uh, that'll go up when I lose a whole bunch of land, and I'm going to need an extra fort. I believe... Well, I have raised my development, so it's going to get worse. Let's put a fort here. Um, yeah, I don't see a lot of point in putting it in other places. I could just jam one wherever I could put one in Shayland. Um, if I put one in Finn, it would increase the chance that people could get stuck there. So let's do that. That sounds nice. It's real nice. And now I don't have the money for this. Better relations over time, you're a good temporary. What else do we have over here? How long is it going to be until the core is finished, and do I have time to do them in favor of fixing some more? 5th of May, 51? So I got pretty much two years. These, these conversions are significantly shorter, so why not? Plus, I do get the poke points for it. Since all of these will rise up with Incan technology, I can just put this on enable su automatic suppression and it'll be just fine. It'll take care of it for me. And I don't care if they damage the provinces, so I'm going to take down this fort. Who wants military access? To what end? You're landlocked. Nobody's getting to you. You're not getting to anybody. Why would you want to... Look, why would you want to leave this delightful haven I've created for you? The Emperor of the Inca. I've created a paradise for you. 
You're welcome. Pretty soon I'll have another merchant because this will be a colonial nation. And now what I could do is actually guarantee my new friends the Inca. No idea what their flag looks like. It's a little sun thing. Well, this is their truce with me. So 63. I think that's a little too long. So let's just make sure you are guaranteed your independence. After which I immediately realize, oh, our geographical positioning is already guaranteeing you, so never mind. I'll see you in five years. Coldest period of the Little Ice Age. Grain's worse, wine is worse, fish is worse, salt is better, fur is better. I do think I have a lot of fur. I really ought to be putting my uh, merchant here, since I am pushing stuff around in the colonies. It's all going to Chesapeake, and then I'm pushing a portion of that out east. I ought to be making sure that the uh, Caribbean trade all goes that way. And the end goal for that is just making sure that Spain gets less of it. Plus it'll give me more trade power out out here at home. I'm losing money? Why am I losing money? Premio wants me to fight a bunch of people. Bohemia has been warned by Commonwealth and may intervene. And they may intervene. Let's see what happens. Okay, Commonwealth is intervening. So, if I'm reading this right, basically, they're hoping that I'll stop them from being completely destroyed by Commonwealth in this. Well, I do need the army tradition. Naval's in the bag, but I do need army tradition. I suppose this is one way to get it. Well, Autobots, let's get ready to roll out.
long for this core. Not very long. Do I only have the five army stacks? Well, I got this little guy. Hunting rebels. Ah. Oh. Hello, Russia. You seem to be having issues. General for each stack. If I'm going to have this army tradition, I might as well really make use of it. I'm just going to go ahead and move all my men over to one area. And just go on Commonwealth. Oh hey, that brought me up to the max. So let's use this for... Let's get tax modifier going. Let's get more money. Uh, what the hell? Let's get manpower recovery speed on top of that. I really hope this colonial nation can form while uh, I'm at war. Oh, of course they're going to siege me. That's fine, I upgraded all my forts. And I believe I recall that actually sieging gives you tradition. It used to be that you got one for every siege you did, but that was before forts, so I'm not sure if it works the same. I think it was that way, at least. Stinking separatists. Not too concerned. That would give me more money, too. Max out my trade power. Let's see, where is my tradition at? Alright, that definitely didn't go up by one. Yay! Okay, Purloined Peru. I dub thee. You know what would be a really cool feature for Twitch? Is if you could have custom titles for people. Does that make sense? I'd love to be able to like... Give Google a the title of like Master of Alliteration or something like that. Alliteration. That would be very cool. Ottomans rivaled me. Well, there goes that chance for an ally.
Yeah, I'm enjoying the fact that they're letting me run amok in their country. Just targeting the, the war leader instead. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting any army gaining any army tradition from any of this. Oh, hello. That's a little frightening. Eight thousand men. I assume that you're going to be here very soon. Tenth. I might be able to get out. Tenth, seventh. Oh yeah, I can get out of here. Eighth. If I go here, I can retreat. Join the rest of my army. I'm okay with losing battles, because you actually gain more army tradition. Wait, did you say you wanted to call me Master? Master of Alliteration. Not as kinky as you were hoping. Or, you know, maybe that's your thing. I won't judge. Harshly. Let's just go attack him. Let's get some battles in here. I'm in this for the blood. It looks like there's gonna be blood. I gained a little army tradition. Is he coming after me? I can't tell. Move my men away a little bit, just so... Okay, come on, I want the closer one to go there. Yeah, I'm moving away a little bit so they don't just walk up and crush me. Which apparently was his goal. He's going for my fort. But as long as I keep my men on my land, I'll recover men faster than he will. And now he's focusing on me rather than Bohemia, so... This is gonna hurt a bit... attrition-wise. Oh, okay. Maybe... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I don't want him to come at me. Let's go to Riga instead. I don't want to stack up too hard. While well, I siege these two forts to his one. Typical AI thought processes. Alright, let's... my trade power in the Caribbean go down? Hmm. Maybe I'll just trade over here some more. Like, uh, I could push some of this 11 ducats out of Kiev, or I could push probably a little more money out of Krakow. 
toward, uh, yeah, let's do that. Just gotta make sure it's being pushed toward the Baltic. No, my amazing king! Yes! My new amazing king! And a crappy air. Good, I'm automatically pushing toward the, ba the Baltic. Should give me some cash. I need the cash, I'm very poor. See what I can do about eliminating this dangerous 11 stack who happens to be taking my land away. Hello, uh, Isar Tori, is it? FFJ. Stick with that. Commonwealth has so many troops. Oh, why did I do that? I want to make the marriages. There you go. Did you... Did you also... Oh, did you also get Sweden is overpowered? Is that overpowered? Did you start as Denmark? I started as Denmark. I am Danish. And I am currently converting the Dane law. So that achieved, so uh, the iron price is underway. And the other thing I'm going for is traditional player. And then I'll be done with this one. Give up on that. He saw me coming. Let's bunch up and see where he goes. Suddenly I'm earning a lot more money. Is it just because I have more trade power here? Hmm. Not sure. He's going to Warsaw. Let's, uh... Let's bring that to him. Let's bring the fight to him. You know, he's he's been a good enemy for so far. Let's uh let's give him the red carpet treatment and just carpet his capital. With his own blood. It's the red carpet treatment. Your blood's the carpet. Alright, he's trying to pull something. Clever. You know what I think about that? I think I want him dead. Nobles demand recompensation. They can have it, in the form of a big middle finger. One of those foam ones. Oh, not this again. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, stop, go away. I'm sorry. Army tradition gained one.
Army tradition gained point two. Well, I guess I'm above 70. My fully maintained forts are now giving me a total, the, uh, the maximum of plus one. And I think my resting point is 80. So yeah, I am going to have to use war to get it up there. Naval tradition is resting point at 100, so... That is going to be very good. Very good for me. I'll take the small stacks and leave them in my own land so they can recover. And the larger ones can go start sieging Warsaw and uh, Lublin. Meanwhile, Bohemia goes for the war goal. I'm sure I have some more exhaustion gathering already. Oh yeah. What do you think you're doing? I'll allow it. You go fight. Fight Bohemia. I don't really care. Do I have claims on Saxony? I do. Maybe they'll give me something. I don't really want more land, but maybe they'll give it to me. You are making a mistake by going here, sir. I don't understand my tradition lust. It's insatiable. I'll squeeze it out of you. Tradition. Delicious. Really drives home the pointlessness of war. Speaking of the pointlessness of war, the pointlessnessing right into my face. You can't turn around after I do this? Okay. Sure. I was sure this five stack was going to go ruin my siege. Oh, here he comes. Come on, finish. Finish the fight. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, they broke the siege as, as intended. So good for them. Let it keep the siege. Which was the harder one, so not so bad, I suppose. He just marched into me. And I still got the capital before the other fort. I 
All right. I'm just going to do a casual backing off for now. In order to regain my manpower. I'm only 36,000 in debt. 37,000. And here comes the giant stack. Oh, he's just going to go for his capital first. Do I care? Not particularly, because I can easily take the capital back. And when I do, it'll drop his prestige another, what, 20% is it? 20, 20 points? I think so. Might be 25. Reinforce speed, that sounds pretty good right now. And uh, morale of navies, yeah, that seems useful. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye, Bohemia. We're winning this war off of the off of my labors, but I'm sure as hell not helping you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He was on the. Oh, hello, Christina. How do you do? You may be 12 years old. Illegal on my throne any day. Okay. Um. I do have upgraded. Yeah, all my ports that are necessary are upgraded. Admin. Tech. I'm well ahead on, so. Guess I'm, uh. Buying up some, some of that old, uh... Wow, I'm losing a lot of money. In reinforcement costs. I miss being a horde! This almost makes me miss having buildings that cost admin. Oh well, let's raise some Let's raise spend some admin points getting our uh, you know, this stuff up. Those will be accepted culture forever. Commonwealth's gotta be like out of everything. I'm glad I took that 15% extra manpower with Holy War. It's going to come in quite handy. Alright, let's deal with these stacks. I might flatten this one. I'll, I'll get a delightful point one boost to my uh, army tradition. Might as well start sieging up here. Oh god. There are a lot of people coming at, at me now. From all sides. 
But hey, if I lose a battle, more army tradition, right? I play my wars more more than army plus mercenaries together. Uh, assuming I know what you mean. Yeah, I uh, don't really have any mercenaries right now. I could be building some, but I'm already hemorrhaging money. And frankly, I just don't care. This war doesn't... Oh, okay. That's super dangerous. I'm actually just going to back out of this position. Because if he splits up like he's doing now, a little bit. Then I have a better chance of destroying him. I'm conflicted because I want to fight. But I don't want to fight in a terribly losing battle. When this fort finishes, I'll attack a stack. claims. They're important, maybe? These guys do not know what they want to do. Just sprinting all over the place. The composition is terrible, though. I should go destroy that. Holy crap. That 55 stack? That'll just melt. Because I have enough infantry to have uh, support, so my tactics are going to be far superior. So what would happen if I just threw my everything at him? I'll throw everything here first, so they gather up a bit. Alright, let's kill him. So long, manpower. A low potential army tradition. Uh, okay, he does have good enough tactics. Apparently he has enough infantry. Twenty army- twenty navy tradition. I can wait for- oh no, it's already pretty much at 90, I don't even need it. Let's take the dip power. Highest navy tradition I've ever had. Didn't look at how much I got there, but I hope it was roughly one, maybe. Hey, you stopped DCGing my shit. I didn't tell you you could do that. Alright, let me divide my men up here. Just kind of spread out. Purpose of this is so they don't take attrition when I walk them all. This away. Loans incoming. Warsaw? Why would they go to Warsaw? but I like it. Ooh, everyone's coming. It's a much bigger bat battle than anticipated. I'm 
much bigger battle. Wasn't expecting them to drop Grodno. Come on now. Come on. There's only a few of you. Just, just give up already. Okay, you're doing an amazing job, but please, just... For your own sakes, I'm telling you, stop. Just leave. Okay. 1.3 tradition. Pretty good. Uh, pretty bad for my men, who are... Uh, I have more manpower debt than I have men. Luckily, I just got more reinforced speed, so that'll really be pronounced. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's time to consolidate my infantry. Well, you know, maybe not do that. If uh, we could get out of this war, it would be really nice. Apparently I have high war enthusiasm. I'm just going to take all my men and go home. <laughs> so long, Bohemia. <laughs> Good luck. Ah, oh, lose 10 army tradition. <laughs> Why? No. No. I could take things if I wanted. I just lost a whole bunch of army tradition? What? Oh, that was army tradition, not naval. Damn it. Damn it. Look at that number drop. Woo! 10,000 will reach my armies per month. I really do want to keep my claims up because if there's going to be a war, I need a CB. I don't even need to use the claims, I just need to have one. Yeah, these Ottomans are pretty... Sicily, what the hell? Damn, Sicily. Well done. Now, these Ottomans have been pretty strong. It helps that whenever they fight Lithuania, I come in and, or pull in Lithuania, I come in and just hit them from the other side. Alright, considering my recovery rate, I'm about as recovered as I'm gonna get, so let's go kill some guys. War's over. GG. Good game, everyone. Good war.
You know what? I can get this passively up to 90. And the way I can do that is by taking... Um, ideas from... Let's see, what was it? Yeah, the expansion idea will give me plus 0.5 which would bring me up to a passive uh, 4.5 out of 5. It probably also doesn't help my wallet that I have a... Uh, Get my uh, Friesland guard on the job. It doesn't help my case that I have level three advisors across the board. That's soaking up sixty decades a month. I'm really surprised was Felian is still a in my um, accepted cultures. Oh, they are so close to losing it. If I gain more land, I'm going to lose Westphalian. Which is sad, because it's actually a lot of land that I have here. I could take more Westphalian. That's this whole area. Okay. I could just consume Munster. My aggressive expansion is relatively low now, because I stopped eating everyone. Wow, these take a long time to convert. Yorvik won't be done till 63. So I need expansion ideas. Which basically means I have to wait for another two admin techs. How about English? Where does English stand? It's looking pretty good. I'm more Russian than Westphalian, but I can't get it high enough. Despite it being in a huge area. Let me go ahead and save a little money on the power bill here. Purloin to Peru fair on its unrest. It looks like it got rid of all of it. I'll attack Cuzco after my next. Uh, when my war exhaustion bleeds off a bit. Ah, oh, what the hell, there's no point. I'll just buy it down. Go to war. Let's take your everything, please. Now again, if I had timed that better, we could sack that fort immediately, but... I'm not even gonna pay my troops more. I don't think it's a... a worthwhile investment. Did they arrive in time? Yep, there's nobody guarding this. It's a one tick. Oh, we never paid it either. I will provide them a general, though, Mr. Uh, Olaf, Olaf Christensen. 
I suppose I could do them that favor. <laughs> Before he gets his fort back, we're gonna be done with all the necessary sieges. I should probably check to see he's not overextended still. Okay, good. I'll be having you everything. And your very tiny bank account. And you'll be giving up all your claims on everything because that's the kind of terrible person I am. Need the dip right now. <laughs> what? Where, where do you think you're going? That'll be all. Alright. That was the end of the Inca. I got my 90 naval tradition. I just gotta get my armor tradition up now. I should probably use some of my admin points. Maybe I do need to take land, so just so I have something to core. When people are bored, they need a job. Perhaps some nice Westphalian land. Aha! So, Dania Piedmont, I see that you need a royal marriage. I am once again in charge! And frankly, Bohemia, our alliance has really not gotten me a whole lot. I'm beginning to question its value. What is my mission? Oh, the trade income thing. I 
Let's rival Munster. A lot of people would back them. Including Austria with its Commonwealth ally. Yeah, so I'd have to do it at the time when the Commonwealth was preoccupied. I should claim more of their land. And the Netherlands. I can't believe the Netherlands is in the Empire. from Spain. I thought he already did that. There you go, big guy. Don't spend it all in one place. That one loan was giving me almost four ducats of, of interest per month. So largely at this point, the tradition gaining game is uh, going to be just waiting. I have well over 100%. My uh, standing point for naval is well over 100% at this point. So that should be incredibly easy. To the point where I can turn this off. 153 points to core Beijing as Saxony. Oh, are you doing a uh, miss? What is it? Miscellionaire porcelain or whatever it is? Ottomans rivaled France. Seems like they cycled a lot of their uh, their rivalries out recently. New Poland, Lithuania's Lithuania and Ottomans are one province miners now. Is that because the AI took land around them, or is that because you reduced them to that personally? Because the latter means you are unstoppable, and the former means there are some strange large players in the game. There goes Moonstu's arrival, as expected. Back to Netherlands. The generals are dying like flies, but they're not flies. Slightly concerned that raising all these, uh, all this development is going to require me to have another fort.
I have a treasure fleet. Okay. I can finally convert that last province. Are there still centers at the stage of the game? There are, and they're still converting things. Wait, I don't see any centers, there's just... These are convert... Wait, they're already... No. Okay, so it seems like the center is gone, and these markers for the province being converted just stay for the last one that's being worked on. So nothing will auto-convert anymore, but the flags for the last ones being converted by the centers before they were destroyed stayed. That's not confusing at all. I wonder if I can get into the HRE. Not unless someone was really unfond of Austria, but it looks like Austria is doing a good job. Unless I were to destroy the Austrians. But their alliance with the Commonwealth is going to make that very difficult. Well, not like I have anything else to do. I guess it's a good enough time to play the... Try to get your guys on the throne game. If uh, this young king dies, I get a Ravon Riddles back on Spain. That would be nice. This guy's awfully young. King of Ulm is rather old, but that's Ulm. Well, I have the free diplomats. I might as well improve relations with those that are a possibility. Magdeburg would royal marry me right now. So FFJ, did you take colonial ideas first then, and just work your way to the coast? It's longer in Yorkshire. Ah, it's a long time. <sighs> No, all the way through. You mean on land? Or did you you fall on land all the way to me? So 
Severe. Severe exists and is a horde and is orthodox. Well, that's interesting. Wait a minute. If they're orthodox, can I still get a PU on them? Is that a thing? Or is that even possible with a horde? Alright, the last of the heresies are gone. Still 15% ahead. Damn it, I want to core something, but everybody's got allies in all the wrong places. Uh, yeah, you can do links as long as it's nothing inappropriate. It's fine. Vassalize Magdeburg. I take it you are a native German speaker. It looks like kind of German to me. Maybe Dutch. Germanic. Oh yeah, I was gonna add, uh, <laughs> add some development here. Whatever, I'll just boost my capital. That is a long ass Saxony you got there. I like it. The Russians must hate you. The border, so like there's this the border uh, border friction penalty. Oh wow, this used to be way worse. Do they nerf border friction? I had a game once where I had a huge border against Austria, I think. Yeah, my Italy game. I had a huge border against Austria, and border friction was like 50. It's like completely unmanageable. Hmm, I want to kill someone, but everybody wants to live. How do? I don't think I'm going to need men on England, honestly. Let's just bring them over. The rival duty. And now the clue I. I actually have no idea what that line means. It makes sense that the rival do wouldn't take in Crimea, though. More claims. For lack of anything else to do. I wish it was still easy to take out the HRE. It's a lot harder than it used to be. Now that you can't have separate wars against HRE members as long as the Emperor is involved. Now if the Emperor is getting wrecked and you declare war on all the electors and then declare war on Austria, sure you could do it. Which is why I would love to have an alliance with the Ottomans, but they rivaled me. The 
very stable region right now. It's kind of a... Got the whole powder keg feeling going on here. Ah, I passed uh, probably the Ottoman score, which means that I'm well on my way to passing Ming. Yeah, that won't be long now. Hmm. I've got too many points anyway. Commonwealth's going from the guy, which means they're at war with the Ottomans. Which brought in the Austrians. That's a notable war. Is my truce of the end? Too long. Five years? I'd love to attack Commonwealth and then just go for Austria. Destroy Austria. Peace out, Commonwealth. And then rip apart like the Netherlands and Munster. Okay, maybe not Munster because they're allied to my ally. Well, unless I brought Sardinia and Piedmont in. Actually, both of these I'd have to bring them in. Who do I actually have CBs on? Britain, Colombia. Britain, Colombia. Persia declared war upon their new enemy, Commonwealth, for reconquest. They smell blood. Persia's going in for the kill. Excellent. Fantastic. Who are your allies, Persia? Oh, Commonwealth. Commonwealth's got a bit of a fight on his hands now. Good. No, I really ought to be embargoing my rivals. So right now, if I declared war on Netherlands, Austria would still join. But they're starting to get a little bit of war exhaustion. Saxony. Good strike at Saxony and bring everybody in. Problem is the Commonwealth have joined. Damn you, HRE. Then again, I have most of my manpower back. And if things went really poorly, I'd probably get a lot of army tradition. With my current resting point of 80. I'm 
Netherlands is no longer a valid rival. All right, who's next? Who do we cycle in now? Spain and Portugal are actually rivals. <laughs> Portugal's rivaled, <laughs> allied with France, Benin, and Ternate. Or Ternate. That's a sad state of affairs. What that means, though, is that I can declare war on Portugal, bring in Spain, and then get them to be against France. Then that way I can have my conflict with France. My naval force limit is pretty good. Gotta say. Pretty good. Just the 30-ish, I'm down to 26, the heavies that I just have lying around is enough to really handle whatever, and I can upgrade those if I wanted for a thousand gold. In fact, I will. There's no reason not to. Might as well have a real navy uh, ready. Actually, attacking, so attacking France in this way would have a double benefit of Unallying Sardinia, Piedmont, and Spain to them. And I really doubt the French and the Bretons could take all of us on their own. Portugal won't be a problem. My colonies could beat their colonies. I'll just steal more of their colonial land. I'll keep the tradition alive. Yes, we got Danish out here. Oh, and the Caribbean finally got switched to Danish. <laughs> Good times. There's no English English out there anymore. No Portuguese out here anymore, except for this part that they still own. I love it. Could ally Timbuk too and they'd help me. I could offer I could ally Venice. Could use another ally. Venice hates Austria. And Sardinia and Venice hate each other. I really would love to see Sardinia Piedmont form Italy. It'll destroy their beautiful color, but they become Italy. Although their ideas now might be well lacking their military. Very strong. Ah well. There's a lot of waiting to come for my traditions to rise passively. So I'm going to call it a night. It is extremely late here. Or early, if you're going to be frugal about it. So I'm, uh, I'm going to head out. I may have to skip my usual Sunday morning festivities. Oh well.
Hey, uh, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys later.